thank you for joining me again. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about changing, change yourself, change others, and change the world. But first, like Michael says, it starts with you, the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, whatever. So I just did a wig review, wig review on this wig. If you guys are interested, I did link the info below. So y'all go check it out. Um, there are combs in there, and so I'm adjusting them accordingly. All right, so those details are below. Also, the color of my lipstick are also below, and as well as the lashes. Just go ahead and scroll through the description. So we're back. Change the world. No, change you, change others, and change the world. So when I first started this channel, that was basically my mission to change the point of view of women. And I don't know, I think it was five years ago. So far, so good. It's working. And others have started also channels doing the same thing. And others have started to think in a similar fashion, know their worth. And then also many men have started to also change for the better. So that's a good thing. But you can't expect other people to change if you don't change or if you don't practice what you preach or if you don't only deal with the certain, you know, standards and certain people. Otherwise, there's no reason for them to change. So if you're really trying to find someone or if you're really trying to change things and how you know, women are viewed and how they're treated and what their value is in society, then you have to be an example. You have to also live the example as much as you can to your ability and so on and so forth. Okay. You can't be wishy-washy. You can't go back and forth and you have to um, live as you want to be treated. Okay. So that's number one, live as you want to be treated. Um, someone on my last video uh, was asking me to do a video for European women in Europe because men in Europe are not, you know, uh, paying, they're cheap, they want to go Dutch, they don't chase women, they want women to chase them. Well, then stop dating European men or stop dating them in general and don't give in. Look your best and only be the option of a man that has enough you know, uh, confidence and, you know, wanting to cross the room for you to get up and cross the room for you. If you stop or women that are attractive, stop catering to these men, then they'll have to cater to you. That's just how it's going to work. Okay. If all the ugly women are left chasing, then they're going to say, well, something is wrong here. Why aren't the pretty women chasing anymore? How do I get their attention? Now you've gotten those men's attention and now they're going to pursue you. But if you don't stop, then how will they ever notice? They won't because they're just used to, like you said, um, being catered to. So stop catering to them and be done with it. Um, you know, talk up other, you know, men who chase women and whatever. Do whatever you have to do. <laughs> okay. Someone says you're in the wrong part of Europe. Okay, well, tell her where to go to you, baby. I have no idea because um, I'm just trying to help for a second on this little topic. But yeah, it, it, no matter where you are, you have to change your behavior in order to change other people's behavior. Usually, if, if you've noticed, if you've ever, you know, just paid attention after you started to level up, people's behavior started to change around you. Because you change yourself, you change others, and then guess what? The world changes. So start with you. And it could be a positive or a negative change with other people, but that's not your fault. Either they um, rise with you or they can watch from over there. Either way, you're about to go. So you know, if you don't speak up, if you don't say certain things, if you don't have certain standards, you can't expect the same results as someone who does. 
You can't be afraid of what other people think, what they're going to say, how they're going to judge you, because that's the life that you're choosing. So you're going to have to deal with it anyway, sooner or later. So better to deal with it sooner so you can become good at dealing with it rather than dealing with it later. You know, don't don't be like, well, they're going to say this. I don't care. They're supposed to say that. OK. If Otherwise, you didn't level up good enough. OK, they're, they're supposed to say, why do you have on all that makeup? What they're really saying is, why do you look 10 times better than me? <laughs> okay, so learn to interpret what they're really saying. Get, you know, that's all that they're saying. It's like, why are you wearing all that makeup? It's not a real question because they know the answer because I put it on my face. Duh. What they're really saying is, why do you look 10 times better? And I look real bad standing next to you. Thank you, Judith. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate it. That's what they're really trying to say. So stop listening to what you think they're saying and let, read between the lines. <laughs> okay. It's like, why are you wearing all that makeup? Okay. Translation. Why do you look 10 times better? And I look bad standing next to you. Oh, because I wanted to look extra good today. <laughs> and they know the answer. They just want to say something. I just got tired of looking blah. And then, then they'll read between your lines. You look ugly. You look blah. I don't want to look like you, basically. So that's what the that's the message they'll be getting. So you need to learn how to read between lines and don't take things personally. If if they take the time, the effort to say something to you, you've obviously changed them into um, either feeling bad about themselves or if they're going to give you a positive response, you know, you're now helping them level up because they're asking questions on how they can be like you. So either you're helping them or you're showing them a mirror. But either way, you've changed them in their point of view. And so it's going to affect everybody around you who's paying attention. And their world will be affected from it. As, and so will yours. So it, it just keeps going. And that's why it's important. Most people that have started to level up have realized that their lives have tremendously improved. So there's, you know, there couldn't be anything bad about it. If you've tremendously improved, then what's the point of listening to people that don't agree with it? They don't want you to tremendously improve. They don't want you to have better results for, you know, um, attracting uh, the attention of the type of men you actually want to date. Um, and we need to get out of trying to help everyone because if no one helped you level up, then why do you need to help them? They need to help themselves by following your example without being persuaded or pushed, they need to see from you actually getting the results. So the best way you can help someone level up is you to focus on you and get the results so that they can have proof instead of just talk. You know, a lot of women talk, 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 but they haven't shown any evidence. So you can't expect other people to follow in your footsteps if you don't have anything to show. And I'm not talking money. I'm just talking, you know, improvements to where you used to be, at least. Okay. So just make sure that you're practicing what you preach and there is some type of evidence so that they'll be more intrigued and willing to follow if they can. Or, you know, they may just get jealous and fall back. Either way, it you know, you did your part. You did your part. Um, men change when they don't have the options they once had. So by you taking away certain options, it forces them into change for the better or they'll regress back to, you know, whatever they were dating before. But either way, they're not going to get to where they're going without a change in themselves. Like they got to they gotta either level up with you, get, get 
some money for you or go level back down and go find Pignesha somewhere. <laughs> okay. When they can't get access to certain women, they'll stop being dusty. Yep, Coco. Coco Mocha. Exactly. And they can't get that anymore. They'll get serious. Man, I gotta do something. I gotta do something with my life. They'll start trying to find ways to get paid. I'm gonna go for, you know, and that's that's good. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> that's what women are supposed to do for men. Encourage them to better themselves to get to the next level. Um. Yep. After after about age. 30, Pikmisha is no longer a prize, you know. Now she's more of a liability because you can't do nothing with her. And if you get caught cheating on her, we don't know what she's going to do. Thank you, Ashley. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My friend told me that I am an attention seeker because I don't leave the house without wearing makeup and dressing nice. I cut her off. Good for you, girl. Tell you don't need her attention. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, A.E. Sprinkle, sprinkle, help. I've been struggling and being angry because my level up feels slow. Advice to stay encouraged. Um, have goals. Have level up goals. Like, thank you for the donation. Have level up goals that are small so that you accomplish a lot of them. And they'll equal up to like one big thing at the end of the week. So like today, your level up goal is to do three things. You know, and you can pick whatever that is. And then you do that. And if you feel like you want to do more, you will. You will. So just do small goals every day, a couple of small goals every day. Um, work out, drink water, you know, do a skincare routine, um, try a wig on, do something. Um, try a new outfit or try a new style, just anything, anything. Go out by yourself and Make eye contact and see, you know, what happens. Go people watch. See how people interact with people. It's just whatever you can do, just go do it. I mean, there's no reason to feel um, like it's, you know, there's no reason to be angry because things are going slow. It didn't take you overnight to, you know, get to where you are. So it's not going to be overnight to get to the level up either. Okay. It just won't. But you can speed it up by being more disciplined. Mm-hmm. Like if it's weight loss, you you can speed it up by being way more disciplined and not falling into temptation. But that's about it. There's nothing more you can do. So just if you do it every single day, then you'll see major results by the end of at least a month. And major results in one month is still really good. Mm -hmm. You 31 and you feel like life is over. I don't know how to level up. Please advise. Uh, makeup, hair, wigs, diet, clothes, mentality. Watch my videos. That's basically it. Look good, feel good. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get yourself back. Well, whatever you want to look like. That's in your, that's possible. That's what you need to look like. Make that your goal. Okay. 31 is not very old, but. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah. That's true. After 21 days, you'll develop a new habit if you do that thing daily. Mm-hmm. So, then remember, you know what men like, you know what men look at, you know what men stop and turn around to look and see and what they find nice, what they find beautiful. So, uh, you know, make sure that you're able to implement some of those things so that you can get the results that you're looking for, you know? Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
If you feel old, look at pics of Nicole Murphy. She's killing it in her 50s. That's right, age she sure is. And, and many women look good for their age because they take care of themselves and they make it a priority. And so should we. You know, that shouldn't be something that we don't make a priority. If you don't, if you're a woman and you think you're attractive, you should have a top or a very high priority on taking care of yourself and what you look like. If you don't, you, something is wrong. Okay. Something wrong if you don't put value on your physical appearance or, and also your health. Something is wrong. So when you wake up, that's the first thing you need to think about. What am I going to wear? What What is my makeup going to look like today? What am I going to eat for breakfast that's healthy? Da, 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 da. That should be what you're thinking about, not anything else unless it's an emergency. But usually wake up early enough to think about yourself first and then think about other stuff later. That needs to be first. Um. <laughs> In past times when men seek the permission from the father, the father would never give permission to a man to marry his daughter if he was not economically stable. That's true. Um, a lot of women underestimate the power of a healthy diet. That's true. You know, in until you try it and become convinced of it, you'll, you'll probably not put a lot of value on it. So they just have to get to that point of life to where they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I believe in planning my day the night before to manifest more? Um, I used to. Uh, I usually won't get everything done or I'll just change it up. But it feels good to know that there is a plan. Um, so, I mean, it can be very beneficial, but some people like to be spontaneous. But if you are trying to get more done, definitely plan out your day. Mm hmm. You don't get why men over 50 would think women who are 20 spend time with them without expecting money. Okay, here's why. Because at 50, they're going through their midlife crisis. <laughs> they think or they want to be 20 again. So in order to feel and think as a 20-year-old, they have to really feel like a 20-year-old, which is not going to be paying, most likely. So you got to get somebody either a little bit older than 50, 55 and up, baby. And you have to be cute because just because you're young, they still may not find you attractive. You know, you just still got to be cute, even though you're young and they old, they still got to like what they see. Thank you, Mia Heart. Mia Heart's makeup. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I've been watching your lives every day and I'm so appreciating you. I live alone and it's like you're my roomie. <laughs> you would be very proud of my lifestyle and the way I'm leveling up, leveled up. I would. Okay. Well, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I'm sure I would be proud. Keep keep making me proud then. <laughs> no dusties. Thank you. So, yeah, just make sure, you know, that man finds you attractive. Like I said, they have to like you way more. Um, and I, I don't think many women understand this sometimes when I say go get you an old man, it doesn't mean they don't have eyes. They ain't blind. Not all of them are blind. They can see. So you got to look good still. And just as good as you look for that young man, you need to look for that old man. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. You were looking at photos of you at 21 and you was a beautiful young woman and don't see it at all. And you didn't see it at all. Waste of time on nothing but dusty girl. Well, you better level up and try to look like that again or close to it. So you can, you know, make up for lost time. You are made, or are you supposed to be here if you want to be? Um, we were talking about how women need to change themselves 
and that changes other people around them, how they treat them, how they act, and then then the world changes. And it's, it's like a whole level up thing. So, you know, uh, women who have higher standards will change the st will change how a man treats them because they don't respond to anything less than what their standards are. So naturally, if the man likes that woman, he will change according to according to what her standards are to meet them if he really likes her. Thank you, Sonia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My boyfriend of two years as a doctor. What is his motivation to get me that contract? Who a contract? Hmm. You mean a marriage contract? Your boyfriend of two years is a doctor. What is his motivation to give me that contract? Oh, you mean marriage? Okay. Um. Well, the best thing, especially if he's a is is he a new doctor or does he make money yet? Is he is he still in a residency? Is he making money yet or is he still like paying off student loans or is he still struggling with his money? Because that that also matters. If he thinks he's going to lose you because he doesn't have enough money for you, he'll more like he'll most likely try to you know hold you down by popping the question. If he thinks you're hanging on until he makes money, he'll most likely not take you as seriously and start looking around because you need to level up as much as you can and start acting a little bit as if you may or may not stay with him. Okay. Or, you know, just start leveling up and doing your own thing and just Looking so good, he knows you have options. You know what I'm saying? He knows you got options. He'll try to seal the deal faster rather than you just hanging around waiting on him. Okay? Thank you. Um, if you like my makeup today, why thank you. I appreciate it. I did a little extra for y'all today. A little extra. Back. I need to take a selfie because I haven't even taken a selfie yet. Hold on. I'm gonna adjust this comb because one of my eyes is looking higher than the other. Look like I got some bad, bad plastic surgery. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we have to even it out. There we go. Nip tuck. Y'all know when you do the combs and the wigs, that's what happens. So y'all gonna make sure it's even. Let's see what filter shall I do today? Oh, that's a good one. I'm at Hogwarts. I'm taking a selfie. I'm gonna look try to look bougie. Oh, let me get my Starbucks. So I got a little bougie with the Starbucks. No, that don't look right. Ta -da. That still look bad. Oh, well. I'll take it later. And I could do something more. Anyway. Let me, let me loosen this up. There we go. Y'all, if y'all like this wig, it is in the description bar with the discount code and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just showing y'all that it is a wig, so y'all could go check it out for more wigs. It's a headband wig. Let's see. Um thank you, her universe, her universe, sprinkle sprinkle or universe. Hi, sure. Do you recommend focusing solely on level up first, then dating on dating while simultaneously? Um, why waste time, baby? It's a numbers game, so go at the same time. That way you have lessons, you learn. The more you level up, the better the type of man is attracted to you. You know, I think it's best to do it all at the same time. 
Okay. That way you're going to see the results right in front of your eyes and how people treat you. Um, it's, it's practice and you'll see the difference. Then you can, then you can understand how powerful it really is. Um, how, so how do you make them pop the question and take you seriously? How do you make them feel like they're losing you? Like you ain't waiting around or because you're not, they're not a priority anymore because now you're less attentive to them. And now you're doing other things. You have other hobbies. You're spending less time with them. So they already know that they're not your priority anymore. And when you're not the priority anymore, you're going to try to figure out how to become the priority again. And so they're going to try to do more and say, well, we haven't done this in a long time. We haven't gone out in a long time. And, you know, what have you been doing? You've been so busy. And like, oh, well, I'm just out there having fun, you know. Um, and then throw in other stories to go along with it. Oh, my friends, you know, they're getting engaged and, you know, they wanted me to come hang out with them and their friends. You know, basically, it almost sounds like as if they're introducing you to other men. So, but you'd never say it. You just let that be left to the imagination. Well, how come you didn't invite me? Oh, you're always so busy. You know, I don't want to interfere with your work. That means I don't care if you're a doctor. I'm still going to live my life. If, if you want to tie this down, you better tie it down. So you just live, basically. You live as if they're not there. You continue to have your own life. You continue to go out. You continue to... Uh, socialize and you continue to dress up looking really good when you leave the house on a daily basis. Uh, otherwise, they think you're waiting around for them. You need to put a sense of urgency on it by showing that you're not waiting on them and you're still going to continue your life. And if you just happen to meet somebody when out with friends a big group of friends, then, oh, well, bye-bye, sir. You should have, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Like Beyonce said, you better put a ring on it because I'm going to be out a lot with friends of friends and friends of friends of friends, even if you don't got nowhere to go. Blah. Get dressed and go and go shopping and tell them you had to go and meet friends for lunch and, that, you know, it was a big group. And go walk around whatever store or mall, whatever you got to go do. But it will get him to thinking. At the end of the day, he'll be like, well, I better give her, get her a ring or something. So the friends of friends is, see a ring on her finger and they don't try to pursue her. And then she'll know I'm serious and she'll be less likely to, you know, give that number out. And she can say, oh, I got a fiance now. He's a doctor. Instead of these handsome, uh, successful men saying, oh, so what do you do? Are you single? I don't see a ring. That's how you do it. Do wigs hurt my head? Uh, if I put the comb in too tight or I don't like tie my hair down correctly, it just feels a little tight like right here with the combs. But if you don't put the combs in at all, mm -hmm. Or if you just put them in really loose, it doesn't hurt. But as you can see, this one is giving me a facelift right now. So I'm going to do the combs a little loose. There we go. There we go. Now it's good. I kind of want to take take the wig off. Uh, oh. I'm going to comb my own hair. Huh? Y'all, wearing wigs is really good for your hair because it helps it grow long, like your hair be underneath there for so long and it just grows because you don't really mess with it so my hair has grown a lot since I've been wearing wigs for like this whole year and a half so you don't always have to mess with it I'm go here we go so yeah my wig so this is my this is all my hair 
I usually put like some extensions in it, but today I don't have any because I knew I was going to do that wig review. So I'm just going to take it out for now and just be free. Kind of like very easy. All right. So, in transition to natural under my wig. Yes. And I think also wigs give you a sense of, you know, being different types of characters. So, if you are dating, you can, you know, you can try out different looks on different people to see how they respond to it different hair colors you don't get spotted easily because you might have on a different hair color or a different hairstyle so it's easier to get away with dating multiple people with wigs because they're going to be like i saw you yesterday no you didn't what did i have on what you had on the red oh maybe it wasn't you because they had blonde hair or red hair or short hair Okay. Mm-hmm. Most of my wigs come from wild wigs, yes. Unless someone sends me another type of wig. <laughs> um, I got this wig, I mean that's this headband. If you go to my Amazon affiliate link, it's also linked below. It says Amazon storefront of items I suggest. And click on um my style, because there's like a uh, there's different little storefronts that I have. And one says my style and one says, you know, looks items or something like that. It's in one of those, but it came from Amazon. Um, but I do have that direct link if you want to see the exact one. And a lot of other stuff that I wear is on there too. So you can check it out. Stuff I recommend, stuff I have, stuff I've worn on YouTube. Not the actual stuff, but where you can buy it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how to be sexy, look good and know it. Half of being sexy is the confidence in knowing it. You don't know it, who else will, okay? You gotta know it. I know I look good. Even if you don't look good, if you know it, other people will know it too. They're gonna be trying to find it. She says she look good, I'm trying to look for it. Where is it? Oh, I could, I could see. I could see a little bit. She do kind of look good. You know, you could trick people into thinking you look good if you don't look good. I can just tell them you do. Do, do a Donald Trump tell him he said he said he didn't already won. We didn't already won. People still counting them votes, but he already claimed that he won. We didn't already won. <laughs> now people think he really won. Girl, Donald Trump gonna win. Watch. He said he didn't already won. Mm-hmm, watch. <laughs> Have the confidence of Donald Trump if you're going if you gonna feel sexy, baby. Because like, nobody can tell him nothing, okay? He's like the, the white Kanye. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, y'all. I need, I need somebody funny in the White House this year. Okay, 2020 is bad enough. At least we have a joker in there. Um, oh, I wanted to put my headband back on. That's what I want to do. So at least we got a joker that, that will keep you laughing. Uh, I don't want a boring president. I don't even care about who's in the, the White House. It's as long as I'm entertained. As long as I'm entertained. There we go. Um, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. That's right, Yetus. That's that's right. Change yourself, change others, change the world. It starts with you. That's why you got to level up. Just think about it. Your life can go totally different depending on how you look or how you treat yourself or how you value yourself or the standards you have. Your life can take a whole different path. 
So you got to figure out which path you want to be on. Do you want to be on a dusty path where you don't love yourself or put yourself as a priority? Or do you want to be on a path where you put you have high standards, put yourself as a priority, and you don't deal with dusties? Where, where will you end up? You know, where will you end up? How will your kids end up if you don't have kids yet? What will your lifestyle be in 10 years from now if you change how you are today? You know, you have to think like that. You can't think about, oh, it's hard to level up because it takes too long. Well, whether you like it or not, 10 years is going to happen. You know, whether we like it or not, in 10 years, it's going to be 10 years. So how do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you want to be? That's the path you need to get on and stay on then. Okay. Don't just think about right now. Think about then too. Mm-hmm. Be the change you want to see in the world. Right. You want to be treated better, look better, act better, dress better, have better standards. And then guess what? You will be treated better. Period. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't listen to other people who don't want you to be better because why would you do that? Why are they so invested on taking you back down to where you're trying to rise from? Don't make sense to me. You know, that that's a red flag to get those people away from you. Um, mm -hmm. You care about human rights and women's rights. I care about how I allow people to treat me. So, you know, if I want certain rights, I'm going to have certain rights. If I have a certain lifestyle, I'm going to have a certain amount of money. And so I'll have whatever rights those that money can afford. You know, some people don't really. Um, just think about this. If you have a certain type of lifestyle, it you, you really don't care who's in the White House unless you, you know. You depend on whatever that they can do for you and that's that's what you're trying to get free from obviously um don't talk to them i work in silence what i preside over myself at the end of the day exactly I mean, we we decide what we want and how our life to you know how we want our lives to be anyway because no matter what, I still have to wake up every day and have the same standards that I want in order to get the results I want. Mm -hmm. I don't check. I don't run to my phone to see what the president done did. I run to my Instagram. I run to my email. I run to my businesses. I run to my YouTube and see what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, to, to me, if we changed ourselves, we wouldn't really look to other people to get um, any type of, oh, you say it's okay to do this? Oh, is it okay to do that? Or, oh, this is what we're focusing on? We focus on whatever you want. You know? It doesn't matter. Hmm. Check my Instagram. As long as you're happy with your life as how it's going, then that's all that matters. If you're not happy with your life, change it. Do what makes you happy. Change it. Or get on a path to where you can be happy. Okay. Um, if there's some someone you like, but you're not on the level to attract them, Make it your goal to get on the level to where they approach you eventually. You know, that's a really good goal. You're, that's a really good level up goal. When you can find someone who maybe you're attracted to, but they are not attracted to you at all. They treat you like one of the guys. They don't look at you a second time. After you level up, give, a couple, give yourself a, a week or a month or however long you need. And watch how that person starts to treat you. That should be evidence enough. 
Because you changed, then they changed. You see? All you have to do is put in that effort, and then you'll see change come from them. I'm like, oh, hi. Um, you look very nice today. Did you do something different? I've been noticing you. A, B, C, and D. Uh. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Say, you wanna, do you want to go to lunch? Can I bring you something back? If you're at work or, you know, or if you're at school, if you're some of y'all are still in school. You look so uh, beautiful today. You look good today. Whatever, whatever they're going to tell you. So through your change, they changed their perspective of you. And now you're happier because now they're noticing you and talking to you and you actually have a chance. Okay. But before, if you wouldn't make any decisions to level up, you'd still be in the same position or worse. So you want to move forward. Take control. Mm -hmm. You need to lose weight. Well, then get on it, baby. Get that weight off. You know, weight is always going to be a struggle to many people. But as long as you stay focused on it, you're solving the problem. Okay. And eventually you'll be closer to it being solved than not being solved. Okay. You say you need to gain weight. Yeah. Don't you wish we could trade? Like, here you go. Here's some fat. I'll give you some skinny. Um, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Know that path of moving forward is also considerably lowly. Most people will leave you when you are not on their level. Be prepared for that, especially. Yep. Time to become who you really are and get rid of people that were holding you back. Okay. Um, but how can we have our own business if they said we can't sell or trade without the vaccine? Online, baby. Online. That's where all my businesses are online. I don't have to go out to the general public. I don't have to take no vaccine. I can buy online. They don't check for vaccines online when you click and click and clacking. You know, you can work in your pajamas, girl. And then be free for the rest of the day. I don't know who said we can't work without a vaccine, but I it don't stop it doesn't stop people who can think around that. Um use use what you know, work online. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to be working, period, anyway. Maybe more wives will stay home. And you, you know, husband go get that vaccine. I got to be here for the children. I ain't going to get that vaccine. But you can go. <laughs> okay, that could be your new excuse now, ladies. I can't get that vaccine. I'm allergic. You have to work. I'll stay home. You say you work five days a week, you over it, right? I don't I don't think there's I don't think there's gonna be a vaccine. It's probably just gonna be a fake vaccine. Y'all people gonna stand in line looking like cows and paying for some sugar water or whatever the fake stuff, my uh saline or whatever they're gonna put in it, tell you it's whatever it is, or it could be an experiment to experiment on you. <laughs> whatever it is, um most people aren't probably going to take it unless they're really stupid. <laughs> well, just see how dumb people really are when they when they start to get it. <laughs> um, level up, especially when I you don't have children, right? Yeah, it's easy to level up. The freer you are. You're too leveled up to accept anything less. That's right. 
And if you find yourself being too leveled up for the places that you're hanging out, perhaps either you need to tone it down a bit or you need to change your environment. You know, if you can change your environment and it's going to be beneficial to you, then go ahead and do that. But um, sometimes people go overboard and do a little bit too much and they think they're leveled up, but they're really just doing too much. And so sometimes you need to find that happy middle ground to where you're classy, cute, leveled up, but not like a sparkling, you know, disco ball or a colorful painting. You know what I mean? Just right. Wearing gowns all the time. You can level way up. Too far up. Come back down a little bit. You leveled up to a costume or a ball. A costume party or a ball. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you, how do you look confident but not snobby? Um, well, who do you know that is very confident but not snobby? Maybe you can study them and see how they pull it off. But most people expect women to be less confident. So the best way, thank you, Diamond, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. The best way is to just, you know, be straight out with it. Like, I'm, I'm very confident. <laughs> and that way they can't try to pull you down, you know. Because uh, it bothers people sometimes when you're very confident because they're not. But if you start off saying, I'm very confident in myself, so don't take my confidence for, you know, whatever, whatever. And then they, they'll they make it an issue not to even do that because you've just told them that you're confident. Um, a lot of people don't like confidence. And so that's how you can weed out some people, the ones that are going to try to misuse you. They don't like confidence. So you can get rid of them quick by being confident. If they don't like confidence, most likely they had an agenda for you that you didn't know about. So good for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It, when it starts bothering people, it's still changing them. It's changing them because they're looking at themselves. So it's always going to be a good thing. It's always going to be a good thing because they're going to compare themselves or their confidence to your confidence. And they're going to ask themselves, why don't I feel as confident as that person? Maybe I need to work on this. Maybe I need to work on that. They might have an attitude. They might not like it because you're forcing them to look at themselves when they did not intend on doing that. And they're going to see themselves and then they're going to be like, I don't like the fact that she's so confident. And then they're going to look at themselves. Like, because they're forced to, because they're wondering why you can walk around feeling so good and so you know confident and they can't. And they're answering their own question. But at the same time, you're going to uh, get the backlash because you made them look. Made you look. Okay. Made you look. So they didn't want to look, you know. And when you find yourself getting upset at someone who's confident, Analyze that. Take a second to analyze that before saying something because it, it could be the same reaction. You are forced to look at yourself and upset. That's why I don't care about trolls because I know exactly what they're doing. They're looking at themselves and getting mad. And I would too if I were them. And that's why you can't get mad because you're helping them in a, in a way that you don't even realize. They might not tell you. You might not ever hear about it, but they over there leveling up. Y'all know it. All them trolls doing the same stuff I'm, I'm telling y'all to do. 
until they get to the level that they want, until they, you know, go and hurry up and change their screen name and come back and act like that never happened, then it's all good. But at the same time, I'm still affecting people and they are changing and then the world is changing. So that's why I don't really care about trolls because I know exactly what's happening. Someone asked me the other day, how do I deal with it? That's how I deal with it. <laughs> I understand. Um, we used this as a tool to not get me. That's right. We don't get messed over over here because we're actually trying to improve ourselves and we're not ashamed to admit it. And we are honest with ourselves and we, you know, take responsibility for our actions and how we look instead of fighting against it. People are still fighting against it, fighting against themselves. And those are the trolls and those are the people that are mad. Once whoever wins the battle within, pick Misha or level up person that who wants to level up, that's who will emerge. You know, but until then, you know, trolls are fighting themselves within. And they continue to come back because they want to continue that battle, which is a good sign. If you come back to a video or um, a YouTuber that you don't quote unquote like, it's because you want to like them. Thank you, Ashley. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You And also, you want to like yourself. The more the YouTuber or the person grows on you, the more you start to grow on yourself. You start to like yourself more. Because now you can stand to her. Now you can be honest with yourself. And so a lot of times that's what happens. And that's why I understand. And I don't get emotional over stuff, over things. And I don't, I'm not afraid what people say because I know they're only talking to themselves. Okay. So well, a lot of times when people say things or write things, I don't see what they wrote. I interpret what they mean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know y'all secretly like me. Y'all keep showing up all the time so y'all can be leveled up too, okay? And that's fine. It's like some bad kids. Um, you like, you missed wisdom so mad now. Aw. Well, you can watch it over. So y'all that y'all have to try to look at life in in that perspective so you can stop overreacting, squandering opportunities, burning bridges. Y'all have to see it like that. And once you start to see it like that, you can control more. Okay, I taught Sasha well. When she gets trolls on her uh, whatever, TikTok or whatever, she'll just say, thank you, I'll try to improve. And then they'll feel bad and say, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, and then they like and then subscribe or follow whatever. She She's laughing in the background. Yeah, I got them. <laughs> she takes the victim mode, but you know. Because she's a little girl. <laughs> yep. They were expecting her to say, oh, whatever, you you know, get off my page. Or... She made she she made them feel guilty. Um So I guess a lot of you guys have witnessed people change around you, the parents, people that you never thought would change, your entire life change. 
improve, but then you see how it negatively affects other people who don't like change, who don't like how you've changed because they can't utilize you in the same way anymore. And it's, um, it's eye opening. Thank you, Monique. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for sharing amazing insight. You're welcome. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So maybe once you were someone's um, sidekick and now you're the main focus. Or maybe once, you know, you were the student and they were the teacher and now you surpassed the teacher. And now that dynamic or that relationship or that duo is off balance because now they're not in the same position anymore for you to look up to or for you to gain insight from. Now you have more you know, wisdom or game or people are more interested in you now. And that's where the problem is. You surpassed them and they never thought that you were surpassed them. You know, it's kind of like the, the tortoise and the hare. So especially parents or mothers, a lot of mothers become jealous of daughters who surpass them. Um, they'll try to use values and standards and stuff as an excuse to try to hold you back from outdoing them because um, it will then highlight the mistakes that they've made while highlighting your wisdom. And it will look as if you outdid the mother, but you learned it some somewhere else. You know, the best thing you can do is be like this. Well, I learn from your mistakes. And I, I appreciate, you know, you doing all these things for me. But aren't those, isn't that what mistakes are for to learn from? Instead of making the same ones, you know? <laughs> so that's all you got to really kind of say. And if they don't, if they can't accept that, then you know, there's a real problem there and that they don't want the best for you. And that's that's a, their personal problem and they have to deal with that within. That's not your problem anymore. It's their internal problem that they have to work out. You've done your part. You're supposed to do better than your parents. And one, if you've done that, great. Your mission is done. They should want you to do better and they should want you to learn from their mistakes. Right. What do you think about being a size zero and super skinny? Do you think men prefer that? Um, some men, yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of men like smaller women. Um, but I do understand being a size zero because like Sasha is a size double zero. <laughs> She's in the sixth grade. So uh, a zero is like, what, a 25? Could be a model. CC, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Shira. How to get money from other men while talking, while being engaged. Should they know how you're wearing a ring or do? No, no, no. You could probably get more if you take the ring off and lie. Thank you, CC, sprinkle, sprinkle. Most men aren't going to, you know, respond well to a ring on your finger unless they only want you for one thing. Um, so, you know, a lot of people lose friends, best friends from childhood. Okay. Did you really think you were going to be friends with them forever? There is always that question in the back of your mind, will we not be friends one day? Well, and who will be to blame? If, if you were not to blame in your head, then you're good because you didn't do anything wrong. Real friends want to see the want to see you happy and want the best for you. They don't want like they don't want to keep you on their level if they're not the best that they could be. They want you to be happy. You know, you may 
have a friend and y'all might not be anything alike, but even if they are a pick me, they shouldn't tear you down. They'll be like, oh, you look good. I'll see you. Well, you know, I can't go in there looking like that. So you go have a good time and we'll hang out another time. You know, they'll at least not tear you down and um, do something like that. But if they're going to talk trash and try to make you feel bad for being happy and doing what you like, that's not a real friend. She became jealous and now you're going to have to watch out because now she's a, what they call a frenemy. And if you have a frenemy and you still treat them as a friend, then it's not going to help you. You know, and, and you're going to have to be like, well, I can't tell her this because she's going to get mad about this. And then it's too complicated. So you got to go. And so I said, as soon as you see the first signs of someone that's not happy for you, that that should tell you something. And for also your parents, when they start trying to pick pick at you and stuff like that, that's a sign. If they're trying to help you, see, it's different when your parents are trying to help you. They're trying to improve on you, like improve you so you don't get hurt or so you don't make mistakes. That's totally different than trying to tear you down. Um... If your friends are unable to level up, let them get go simply. Simple, right? Every every friend of mine used to mosey around the topic whenever I did something good. They were just dry. They get rid of themselves. They get rid themselves quite quickly once they're done with the nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You you got to let people let themselves go sometimes. Mm hmm. How do you differentiate the two? If one, if they keep making negative comments, you already know. Mm -hmm. They can do this behind your back without you noticing until you catch them one day. <laughs> True. But you can tell. Sometimes you can tell just by being around them. Right. Like when I was in high school... You could totally tell if people talked about you behind your back by how they were in front of your face. It's it's too simple. You know, like most people are very aware, especially women. So you'll know. Mm -hmm. You find out a friend was gossiping about you and stopped telling her things. Good for you. <laughs> most people are jealous of anyone doing better than that. That's because they're they're not looking at how they can do better from knowing you. See, that's the difference. Um, this is the difference between rich and poor people, too. If you see someone with money or a good position or whatever, instead of being mad and jealous, see how they did it. And go do the same thing or something similar. Don't sit there and just be mad. If they wouldn't, they would never be there if they had sat there and been mad at the person who inspired them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you have to ask yourself what do I want? Do I want what they have? Do I want better or do I want to be mad? What's the fastest way for me to get on that level? Ask them questions. Let them be my guide. Whatever, whatever, you know. It's faster, it's easier, and before you know it, you won't have anything to be jealous of. <laughs> I said, why girls working at the store or restaurant try to make fun of young girls with rich sugar daddy? Girl, because they like clocking in. What you think? <laughs> Ooh, I couldn't date nobody. Ugly. I couldn't date nobody old. Cash or credit. <laughs> Ooh. You know, drive through, drive up to the next window. Ooh, girl, I couldn't date no old. I couldn't date somebody I wouldn't attract to. I don't want no ugly babies. Be right in that drive through. So, you know, that's because they don't think that they can pull a man of means. It's not because they don't, they, it's not because they can't fathom it. 
It's just they don't have the confidence to think that they can. Or the mentality. You know. <laughs> so they just talk about other women who may may not even look as good as them driving up in a nice vehicle, no work, nowhere to go, just ordering their little food and driving off to go shop. You know, that could be you. That could be you. <laughs> that could be you. When I was younger and I had a job in high school and I would always see these girls in like their 20s and you know, housewives in their 30s and 40s, nice cars, shopping bags in the back seat. Just had a whole fun day of shopping, didn't have to go to nobody's job. And I would see that and I'm like, that's what I want. <laughs> or I want, that's the life, baby. Not a care in the world. <laughs> And so that's how I made goals to live my life. I'm not going to deal with anybody who can't do anything for me, especially when I get to the age where I'm getting serious about dating. Can't go backwards because I saw the lifestyle I wanted and not the lifestyle that I was in working I mean, all, a lot of high school kids like to work, but uh, I don't want to be grown doing that, you know? Like, that was my mentality. Mm hmm. Is it really soul crushing? You hate coworkers, right? Can you talk about how to build self discipline and motivation? Um, I always say, no one else is going to do it for you. And you can't cheat yourself. If you have a goal or a small goal, you can reach it faster. If it's a small goal, like here, here's an example, how to be disciplined. It's a choice. That's it. That's, people try to make it so complicated. It's a choice. If you have, if somebody said, hey, I can see the future. Really? You can see the future? Yeah, you want to know your future? Um, Sure. And they said, okay, there's two futures. Two? Yeah. Based on one decision. And that decision is whether, let's say, you lose weight or not. Let's use that since it's a very popular topic. to find my little... Marker, how will your future be? Hmm, thank you, Cherry. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Future one is as you are now, and future two is if you gather the discipline to lose weight. Which future do you want to see? I'm just going to add, which future do you want to see? You can only pick one. Only one future. Which would you like to see? Which one y'all going to pick? So, but why would you pick this one if you're over here? Because you really want to be over here. And the only thing that's standing in the way is you. Okay. So if you want to see future two, that's where you're supposed to be. So get there. Okay. You don't want to see future one. That means you don't even want to live your life. That's what, that's what you're really telling us. I don't want my life. That's what you're saying. I don't want my life. I don't want the life that I have already. That's what you're saying. So if you don't want the life you have now, then discipline should be no issue. 
if someone said, what future do you want to see? This one or that one? You're not even going to think about looking at this one because that's not where you want to be. So make the, thank you, dark Lord, Lordism, sprinkle, sprinkle. Make the decision to be where you want to be. Okay? Make that decision because I I don't want, I'm not going to see future one. I don't, I know that future is the same day. It's the same as today. The same as yesterday. It may get worse tomorrow. I want to see my potential. You know, and so visualize your future as future too and see what you look like. See what you're driving. See the type of house you live in. What's your spouse look like? Who are your friends? Thank you, Asia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The key to discipline is putting your emotions and comfort aside and doing what you know is best. That's right. That's a good clinical definition for anybody. Very straight up. Thank you, Asia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, put that aside and, and do the work so you can end up where you want to end up. You know, people go through years of college studying, going into debt. But, you know, that weight loss can change your life even more profound than an education. Especially if you, you know, if you try to level up. Mm hmm. So be just understand that. Just know it and, and get on that path and don't get off of it. I don't care. Like just choose to make a change. And most people don't make a change until the doctor said you're gonna die. And then it's too late then, or you old, too old in, like, okay, well, you're gonna be skinny and old, and you know, <laughs> nobody gonna be checking for you. Then you're gonna be like in the senior citizen home and no, I can't eat that no more. My doctor said I got to watch my cholesterol, my blood pressure. And, okay, I'm finally skinny. It's too late now. So get it, you know, do what you got to do so you can enjoy your whole life. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> that the best decision you made was dropping out of college. <laughs> okay, go, go. Okay. I want to move out in a state and start a new life, but have no family to where I want to move. What should I do? Um, most people move out of town with no family because most people don't have family out of town where they choose to move. Most people try to move away from family. Okay. Sure, can you please put the trolls in timeout? They bothering the lady. I I'm not even who's the troll? Who's the troll? Julius. Julius is here trying to get attention because you know that's the only way. If your family isn't paying your bills, it's best to get away from family. <laughs> right. They're not paying for it. Why are you here? You can FaceTime them, talk to them on the phone, visit at holidays. Um, what if you have family that doesn't want to come to your house but always want you to go to theirs? So annoying. Um, you can get them to come to your house by enticing them. By saying you can't come over here will make them want to come over there. Don't you see the reverse psychology? Duh. Next time you go over to the house, be like, oh, I'm so glad y'all always invite me over because, you know, there's no way y'all come to my house. Why not? What's at your house? Oh, nothing. It's just best I come here. What you got at your house? And then change the subject. Next time they call, hey, can we come over? I want to see your house. Bam, they there. Wow. <laughs> there you got to trick people in this world. <laughs> if you want them to come over, that is.
What age do you think women can start looking for rich men? Any age, darling. Legal age. <laughs> but it's best maybe like in your mid, I'll say mid-20s. Some people early 20s because, you know, they're over being broke and date broke men. But I'd say 20s. Definitely 20s, baby. My ex wants to get back. I gave him a chance. He's a good guy, but he doesn't put enough effort to even see me or take me out. Then why does he want you back? What have you done with him since y'all have gotten back together? That's what he wanted, baby. <laughs> he don't want the relationship. He don't want to take you out. He don't want to put in effort. He wants something else. He said your attention. Well, if you've only given him your attention and he doesn't want to take you out, then go out with somebody else, girl. What the, what the heck? He ain't going to know no better because he ain't going to be there or looking for you. So go out with someone else. Mm hmm. But he won't let go. Then you let go, baby. You let go. Tell him you're pregnant. Tell him you got another man. Tell him. Tell him you gay. Whatever it takes uh, to make him let go, then tell him. Whatever. <laughs> Ask him for a bunch of money. He'll let go quick. <laughs> what to say to a man that asks you to tell them a secret about you? Ooh, a secret. I see dead people. You're telling me you see dead people. Dead presidents. <laughs> tell me you see dead people, then tell them dead presidents. Give them some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you stop being a nice girl? By not caring what other people think and being nice to yourself. You actually see dead people? I used to tell people that, honestly, because I was a mortician. I was like, I see dead people. Huh? Mortician. Then they would think it was funny. Mm -hmm. So, someone asked if there's an age cap on finding something. Hold on. There's no age cap on finding a man of means. Well, not according to what I have witnessed, because I do have, you know, people here that are in their 60s and got sugar daddies in their 80s. So I don't think so. Just got to have that game and that opportunity. <laughs> so she went for the 80s. All these guys broke when I'm where I'm from, living off women. I then you need to date outside of where you're from. How do you stop being too nice? Just stop and do the opposite of what you would do. Be mean. Try to please yourself instead of other people. Ask for what you want instead of asking what for what they want. Thank you, Bob Yellow Sprinkle Sprinkle. One month pregnant by Sugar Daddy. Did not tell him yet. We are not in a relationship, but live together. We have been dating for 12 months. I need advice. Okay. So how do you live together and you pregnant, but don't have a relationship? You in a relationship. 
now. You family now. <laughs> okay. You family now, girl. Just don't tell them. Just let your belly start growing. Act surprised. Just like, oh my gosh. That's your family now, girl. Y'all family. You put him down on your emergency contacts. <clears throat> Basically, if you want to keep the child, let it go for a long time until you tell him and act just as surprised. Oh wow. We're gonna you're gonna be a daddy. Don't say it like you're guilty. Don't say it like something is wrong. Be excited. You know, it's how you present things. Get a little box. There's a little box. Make like the Hallmark movies. Okay. This this is the difference. Get your little box like this. Get your little note. And write, you're going to be a daddy. And wrap it up with a little bowl. And say, I got you a gift. But make sure you are about four months. He's like, you're pregnant? Yes, four months. Aren't you excited? You're going to be a dad. Oh my gosh, aren't you excited? Uh, how long did you know? I just found out this week. <laughs> huh? Yes, I did not understand why I was gaining so much weight. And I just, I never thought. And something, you know, I went to the doctor and they gave me a test. And I'm like, I can't be pregnant. Oh my gosh. And so, aren't you excited though? Keep the attitude positive. The whole time. The whole time. Okay. Don't act like you did something wrong. Don't act like you kept something from. Just act just like them Hallmark movies. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What, what are they going to do? How are they going to tell this? That uh, we don't we need the baby. You don't need to keep that baby. They, they ain't gonna tell you. It's four months. You, it's been four months. They, you ain't got no choice. You ain't got no options. You're happy. You supposed to. You think he's supposed to be happy? So he got to fake being happy. You can't upset someone that happy without creating revenge on their part. Okay. You can't take someone that happy and pull them down into depression. Especially near the holidays. All you can do is feed off of their positivity and try to find the positive in the situation. So that's why you have to be extra positive, extra excited, presented in a classy way like the, the little box. Film it. Film the reaction so that he'll feel guilty if it's bad and you can show it to him and send it to a girl and get that head. Then you can bribe him for whatever you want if the re reaction is terrible. Look at your reaction. You don't want, you don't want it. I thought you'd be happy. Then they're going to have to make up for it. And then they're going to feel guilty inside. Ooh. Then you got them. Congratulations. Then automatically start talking about marriage. Don't even don't even skip a beat. Don't even skip a beat. Oh, you think we should get married before the baby arrives? Don't even act like you don't expect him not to marry you. Just straight up. Do you think we should get married before the baby is born? Y'all too chicken to be, y'all too chicken. Y'all need to say stuff, open that mouth. 
and you'll you'll have you know the life you desire. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So we need to we need to get married. What that would probably scare him off. No, it wouldn't. Y'all, they already lived together. Mm -hmm. They already lived together for 12 months. She pregnant for, you know, she'll be pregnant four months when she gives him the news. It's too late then. He can't do nothing. 18 years. 18 years. Like Kanye said, it got you for 18 years. <laughs> so he's going to have to say yes because what's going to happen? If he says no, he gonna kick you out to get your own apartment with a baby. He gonna have to pay for it. Then he'll look like the bad guy and be a whole drama mess. Mm -hmm. Instead, just make it easy for him to say yes. That's all I gotta do. Yeah, he got her pregnant. She didn't get herself pregnant. Exactly. So you struck a home run. I didn't think you could do it. Who'd have thought at your age? <laughs> then he gonna feel masculine. Ooh, I still got it. <laughs> sure. Can you talk more about working on working for leveling up and how? It helps your mindset. Thanks. Working out for leveling up, how it helps your mindset. Um, I just think it gives you more oxygen to your brain, better ideas. Working out, working on yourself just gives you a whole new outlook at life than it, than it would if you didn't do anything. <clears throat> Right. You want to eat what right now? <coughs> Tacos. Then eat one taco. Okay. You can still eat what you want. Just eat one. Hmm. Instead of 10 or 12 or 3 or 4, eat one. <laughs> Don't deprive yourself. Just eat one and be done. How do I get a guy hold me in high regard from the beginning? Have high standards, period. And don't don't bend on them. <laughs> you said you're working on it, girl. No, just do it. Don't work on it. Do it. There ain't no working on working on eating one taco. Just eat one, period. <laughs> Buy one, eat one. That easy. The, that working on it needs to be deleted and it's like, okay, I'm on it. <clears throat> you good. And I hate to make an example out of you, but I, I want to just, just show you guys the vocabulary that many of us use when we know that we're um, what what we need to do, but not doing it. I, you know, I've said the same thing. Shoot, I'm working on it. That means I ain't finna do it. Not, not today, not tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe in 221. And they keep pushing it off. So that's where people mess up. Do it today. If you, if you talk about it, be about it. Y'all want them men to come out of them pockets today. And they don't come out of them pockets. And they say, well, they said that they were going to do this. And they said that they were going to do that. But they're not responding anymore. Just like you said, you was working on it. That's how men do, you know, unless you take full responsibility or for, you know, actions, you don't get results. Just like those men, until you take until they take full responsibility for what they said, you ain't gonna get no money. <laughs> so. It is tempting to eat more than one, but you'll notice after you eat one and drink some water, you good, baby. 
We don't need no more. You ain't gonna drop dead from starvation and you'll be fine. <laughs> I think we want the other one. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. Is somebody said chew gum? Mm-hmm. You try eating slower, it will help. Girl, put some hot sauce on it. Get extra lettuce. Here's the extra lettuce. It'll make you feel like it's a giant taco. Get chicken instead of beef or any way you can cook calories. Say no sour cream, no cheese. <laughs> If saying you're busy and if you tell him you have plans with a friend and he asks men or woman, what do you say? B both. Confuse some girl. Both. What do you mean? Well, they're trans. You're alive. He has no more questions. He can't ask that question no more, can he? You just took that option from him. <clears throat> He'll never ask you that again. You're good to go. And then if you do, you got the same answer. Trends. Then he'll be like, Uh, are you trans? No, silly. Do you want to meet them? He'll probably like either he'll say yes or no, but most likely he'll probably say no. And then you're good to go. And be like, oh, have fun. Call me when you're done. <laughs> I would like for us to get past the basic questions. Yeah. If you have an eating disorder, it's not easy to eat one. Yes, it is. Only buy one. <laughs> if you was broke, it would be easy. If you only had enough money to buy one, it would be easy. You know what's not easy? Being broke. Going to work, clocking in. That ain't easy either, but people get up and do it every day. They got a broke disorder, so they got to go work. Thank you, Barbie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A sugar daddy sent me uh, money for a pic, so I sent an innocent one on a snap, and he got, he's mad. It disappeared while he was, you disappeared while he was driving and asked for another, but I told him I need another cash up. Too stubborn. He's Oh, man. Girl, go on Google and find something that look kind of like you. Po Photoshop your face on it and send it to them and get your money. Make sure they got tattoos or something so that they know it's in the future. If they try to blackmail you with it, they know that ain't you. Google and Photoshop are your friends. Or just find like a picture from the neck down of somebody with with a mark that you know you don't have and go ahead and get your money girl send them other people other people that put themselves out there already you can get paid off of them mm. y'all there's so many disorders and things that people use use as ways to get out of taking full responsibility for themselves. Yes, people overeat. Yes, people undereat. But it's still a choice. You know, um, and one choice determines the next choice. So if you can be strong enough to make one decision, you know you're strong enough to make the same decision again. You know what I'm saying? So you're strong enough to make one decision again if you made it once. If you take each thing and take full responsibility for it, then you can conquer it. If you continue to use excuses, you don't want to conquer it. And 
no one cares, that's your life. It ain't ours. So no victim mentality on this channel. Either do it or what they say, poop or get off the pot. Either way, we about to slide. Okay. Um, that's why people can level up quick on this channel because we don't we don't care. <laughs> Just like the real world. We don't care. Do it or don't do it. It doesn't matter to us, but it matters to you. Um, how do you get on your man's life insurance policy? Oh, I have a whole video. I don't know if it's a whole video, but find a movie. Watch it together where the man dies and leave them with nothing. Cry and say, what if that happens to us? And, he, and, it, and it don't give him none until he puts you on it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or, or get you one. Okay. I don't know. Find a movie. Go look it up. Go look up a movie about life insurance and being left with no money. If y'all can think of one, put it in the comments. Mm-hmm. You said men only care for youthful, fertile, beautiful females. And, and women only care for rich, abundant men who can spend money. So I guess we'll have to meet somewhere in the middle, huh? What if he asks what is the oldest you've dated? Lie. Nah, how, oh, however old he is, say about two or three years difference. You only get one life. Enjoy it. That's right. Girl, don't get mad about... Well, y'all talking about Julius. Yeah. Um, Never tell them that you've never dated a man their age before because that's going to make them feel awkward. If you've already dated someone their age, they feel less awkward, even if it's a lie. So just tell them. Mm-hmm. Not single mothers, not divorced thoughts, not 30-year-old walled females. Well, how old are you, 18? We don't want your McDonald's check. Killer Hayes, we don't want we don't want your minimum wage, baby. You're not even a target. Nobody. A single mother's child's outfit probably costs more than yours. So bye. The, the outfit on her child, by the way. <laughs> You ain't got enough money to deal with none of them. Stick to your co-workers. Okay. Period. These guys need to pay Shira for the advice that they try to give. <laughs> Been with your lady, not your wife, for 10 years. Okay. She's been in my life for 14. Is she your wife? She ain't got no ring, then I don't count it. She's still single. <sighs> only reason she chose me was because I ain't stepping to. Well, the only reason she's still single is because she with you. And she ain't got no ring on it. She's still unmarried 10 years later. 14 years later, she should be ashamed of herself. You better hope she don't find this channel. She sounds real attractive. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how many kids do y'all have unmarried for 14 years together? How many bills does she do? Y'all split the bills down the middle, baby. Who's your who's your roommate? Slash baby mama. You red pill? Does that mean you broke? I don't know. Does red pill mean you broke? <laughs> you said no marriage. So he broke, we know. She he broke and she ugly. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up for us. Anyway, <laughs> I told you read between the lines. That's all it that's y'all know that's what it is. 
The only time a man brag on his woman is when he's trying to defend himself from being dusty. I've been with my woman, my lady, not my wife. He got to say lady because baby mama and girlfriend sound, don't sound right. So he got to change it to lady rather than wife. Why don't you go ahead and get that ring? It's been 10 years. You could have saved up by now. Come on. Pawn shop open. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm sorry. That's not impressive. It's actually sad and I feel bad for her. Thank you, feminist. You're welcome, Brokey. A feminist wouldn't want to be married. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really wonderful. I'm sure it is for you. I'm sure it's wonderful to not have a commitment, not have a marriage license, to have somebody cooking, cleaning, washing clothes, and bringing you half the rent. You in hog heaven. Why not? The dusty heaven, that's what we called it. You made it. You must got a six pack. <clears throat> Keep on doing them sit ups, though. <laughs> but hey, you know what? I ain't mad at you. Go. Y'all got to eat too. Y'all got to live too. Can you talk about the book you posted on Instagram? I don't know which one you're talking about. I have several books. Too Pretty to Pay Bills is one of the books. That's in one of the e-books. Um, I Bring Nothing to the Table. That's, you can get a physical copy. The Wisdom of Shira Seven. All those should be linked below in the description bar. Okay. My IG is Shira7. All one word. I don't need, he said he don't need marriage to get but kids nor females to take care of me. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> you don't need it, but you've been there for 10 years so I guess you won't you want it <laughs> all thanks to feminism all thanks to limited pay that's really what it is you using feminism instead of saying only if I had more money because you, you could get care less about feminism let's just get to the point you just ain't got the money to do it, okay? <laughs> okay. You said we deserve our best life and you too. Well, as long as you find a way to get it, there's somebody for everybody. You know, if, if you happy and she happy, there's nothing I can do about that. And if she, if she likes that situation, then who's who going to tell her different? Okay. What's wrong when you manifest, but not all the way? I get boyfriends who are wealthy, but they are often psychologically some sick in some way. Learn to manipulate their sickness. Shoot. Work with it, baby. Become a master of that. Sometimes they can be used for getting everything you desire instead of being upset about it see how it can work to your advantage you're get get the google and how to how to work with this psychological issue You see it ride the manic wave. Girl, when they if they bipolar and they start ordering a bunch of stuff online, get get your stuff too. When they start to come out of that, disappear. Tell them you gotta go to the bathroom or you gotta go visit mom. Be out.
How you think Kim Kardashian got all Anyway, would you marry someone who is provider and a real man, but is ugly? Like, what if my kids pick up the jeans? I don't care about that, baby. What if they pick up being broke? What if they, you know, what if they living in a place so bad they can't walk outside? I mean, I'm sure they'd be, rather be uh, genetically linked to that man than be dead. <laughs> Or be poor. You know what I'm saying? If you had to pick it, if you had to choose before you were born, do you want to live this lifestyle or this lifestyle? And then you see how you're going to look when you grow up. Which one are you picking? <laughs> I mean, we got to think. Think about the child, not your, not yourself. Thank you, Percy. She were, if you were first lady, what projects would you work on? Making Michael Jackson have a national holiday? That's number one. Gonna pass that right on into law. You're changing the national anthem. <laughs> to man in the mirror. Every, before every football game, gonna make the change. Oh, and whoever sang it the best, you know, we're gonna let different people sing it. It's gonna be funny. Thank you, Alexandra. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Love you, she is sprinkle, sprinkle. You're gonna be stand up. And so you gotta stand up because this they stand up. Stand up and lift yourself now. You know it. You know. We'll only sing the first verse. Unless it's a very, you know, unless it's the Super Bowl and we're going to sing the whole thing. So, yeah, Mike would be, uh, have his national holiday. We would change the national anthem to Man in the Mirror. What else would I change? Oh, no more taxes. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to print extra money. <laughs> Everybody get a certain amount for Christmas in the mail. Here go your new money. <laughs> Thank you, Luciana. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you were well off and single, would you still have a sugar daddy? Well, I ain't going to have no sugar baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'll either have someone who can still pay for stuff and who I can, you know, feel is like a man, but I'm not going to be paying for them. Thank you, Angela Rodriguez. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. Hi. Like, if I were already rich, I wouldn't want nobody broke. I would want someone that could at least pay for me. Somebody a little richer than me. A little bit richer. A little bit richer. Yeah, we take all the stupid programs that are unnecessary, like testing vaccines and drugs to experiment on people. We take those that money from all the scientific experiments that they try to do, and we just um, get rid of taxes altogether. <laughs> Is well-off men paying child support a still good prospect for marriage? Sure, if they want to get married. He said mandatory free health care. Of course, mandatory free health care. No taxes, free health care. What else? Michael Jackson, national holiday. You wear a glove and you moonwalk on that day and you get off of work and school. And um, I don't know. You go to the carnival or what? whatever. <laughs> Have they played Thriller at the White House Halloween? Mm -hmm. okay. 
So, you knew that Michael Jackson holiday was coming. You should, yes. I'm, I'm going to be like the Stevie Wonder of getting Michael Jackson a holiday like he did Martin Luther King. Well, March on Washington. Um, women get free checks every month. Are women getting free checks every month? That's right. And women getting paid to stay home and not work. Here's your money if you um, you get a uh, take care of your own kids, chick. Why did Lil' Kim transform like MJ? Same thing, but not the same work ethic and knowledge. Because she didn't like the way she looked, obviously. She was always comparing herself to other people instead of trying to be the best her. I don't know. I think people in the entertainment industry are harder on themselves because they listen to everybody and what they think. Especially women. They're always being critiqued everywhere they go. They just can't walk around and feel confident because everyone's critiquing them. Thank you, Shiny Moore, Sprinkle Sprinkle. What advice would you give to women approaching 30? Is it too late to level up? Yeah, it's too late. Go ahead and, and get your uh, casket ready. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yeah, you didn't wait too long. Just go ahead and make the funeral arrangements. Sprinkle Sprinkle. I'm being sarcastic because that's not... <laughs> that's not a good question to ask unless you took real bad care of yourself and at 30 you look like you're 60 okay if you look like you're 60 it, uh, you could still level up from that but I don't know why they think 30 is old it's actually young mm Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you can level up until you can't level up no more. There you go. Until you, until you're dead. Mm-hmm. What if you 60 and look five, look 35 and you already leveled up, girl? Congratulations. Stay looking that way then. Y'all are so brainwashed. Who brainwashed? Thank you, King. DJ2, Sprinkle Sprinkle, hey, Auntie Shira, what if he thinks you are unobtainable as and too special for uh, and almost sees you as some kind of celebrity? Do you level down? No. If he sees you like that, you have to, uh, thank you for the donation, by the way, Sprinkle Sprinkle. If he sees you like that, you have to confide in him some fake secrets. So now he thinks he's special to you at the same time that you're special to him. Like, oh, she trusts me. Oh, she confided in me. Oh, we're close. We have a relationship. Thank you, Anyana. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, I don't like fake hair and love my hair. Can I level up with natural hair? Mine is versatile and long, but it's kinky and thick. Well, if you can find someone that is attracted to your hair and you as you are, then of course anybody can level up and wear whatever they want. Uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I don't think people have to ask if they look good enough to level up. If you're getting results, then the answer is yes. If you're not getting results, then you know the answer. I mean, it's that easy to figure it out. If you're getting results, then yes. Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A pick me from my past called me yesterday. She know I'm getting the bag now. How do I let her down easy? How would you let a woman down easy? Well, if I'm calling, if I'm a pick me and I'm calling you and, and, and I know you get in the bag now, I'm going to believe whatever you tell me and not question it. And um, that's going to be that. You, know? you can just tell her that you helping your mom. You got a baby on the way. Something. Same thing. 
we would tell y'all, oh, I'm pregnant. You have to say I have a baby on the way. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, AE. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, so I got a baby on the way. It might be twins. Is she going to disappear quick? Poof. Okay. Why is it so hard for y'all to wear wigs? And we know I has a problem with natural hair, but men want to see different hair on their women. I don't... Uh, Jasmine, that's true. I like to switch it up, wear whatever, but some people are not comfortable and, you know, you got to let them do them. <laughs> Y'all never know. Percy might really be getting the bag. Y'all don't know. You be tipping. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wear a wig. I mean, if you're getting... If you get if you level up and you get in the results that you desire, then continue to do whatever is getting you those results. You know, I don't really say that you have to do anything. I just say do will get you the results. Okay. What killer hay says, nope, it's red pill because if my dad was a simp, he would have played the rigged game. He left and never came back. Taught if the female can't check her hype or karma or just walk away. That sound like y'all in the military or something. <laughs> it's like robots. Okay, well, if the male don't have over six figures, you can't date them anyway, so that's going to like eliminate hat like 90% of the people that think they target. You'll be sadly disappointed. You in the wrong chat room, darling. You need to go to Pigmisha chat room. Mhm. Mm like that honestly it's like, you know, um That's nice that you're red pill and everything. I definitely would be red pill with a pig leash or two if I were a man. They make it so easy, so why not? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You say y'all miss Kenneth? Y'all, Kenneth probably got married. No. <laughs> Um, you said who celebrates their father being a deadbeat? <laughs> Obviously, red pills, <laughs> red pill dudes. I don't think they celebrate it, I think they understand why the dad left. Why did my daddy leave my mommy? Because my mommy wanted my daddy to be a man and he could do it. Well, she was cheating on him because he couldn't bring home all the bacon. She had to get bacon from over here, bacon from over there, bacon from over here. Because he, he got one job, but he couldn't do it correct. So she had to go finish his job. I don't know. If you can't give her it all, she can get it somewhere else. We already know this. You're basically bragging that your dad left your mom and didn't raise you. He's bragging about it because he doesn't feel like it's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's because I don't even know if they were married. You know, when you get married, it's harder to leave. <laughs> So the cycle continues, hey? This guy can't afford to pay $100 for my Chanel perfume. Well, I guess you know what to do now. 
she is leading you females down the road of destruction because the more men that are economically unattractive to you females, the more of who will pass away for family lists and alone, unmarried, in exile. Women are never alone. They have children, darling. Men are the ones that die in exile. <laughs> like your daddy probably is. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. That don't even make no sense. You said your parents still married. But I thought you said he left. What's the real story? Did he leave and come back because he had nowhere else to stay? Did his mama kick him back out? Like, what happened? <laughs> anyway, y'all, I got to go. Well, tell us your story next time. Maybe we'll get it all written out and put it in the comments below so we can know what really happened. Okay, make sure you put some details in there and quotes and stuff so we know who's talking. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.